Hey y'all, out here at uh, Quaker Steak and Lube in Pigeon Forge for the rod run, and uh, I got a 56 International pickup truck, which really isn't a 56 International pickup truck, it's just a cab of it. The, bed's, the bed is custom homemade, and it's running all uh, late model Mustang gear. I think you're gonna think it's really cool. Let me get the camera turned around, and we'll take a quick look at it. Tony, that's one cool hot rod, brother. Appreciate it, Scotty. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, it's just a 56 International uh, cab on a 09 Mustang. Uh, I used everything from the Mustang. So you took, you got what, like a, a wrecked 50, or uh, late model Mustang, or? Yeah, 09 Mustang. Right. And four six. The chassis is from that? Uh, everything from the firewall back is that. Uh, okay. The International front section uh, is off the pickup. I and the you. straight axle. I got you. And in the frame, which whose frame is that? Uh, Something you made. It's the Mustang. Yeah, I just okay. put frame connectors on it. Oh, I, I made got the you. front section. Of I the frame. got you. I got you now. So even underneath everything from the yeah, firewall looks, back is Mustang, looks and like then a stock Mustang. I got you. I got you. How long has it been done? A uh, couple of weeks. <laughs> Man, no, that's cool. You connected with me uh, through the website scottydtv.com your son did and uh, showed me pictures of it and uh, I was like most definitely I want to shoot that yeah he watches all your videos I do too and he's all excited wanting to get it on there <laughs> right right so this bed this was never uh, a bed that's something that you made for it yeah just out of sheet metal and what about that tailgate uh, the tailgate I bought it the uh, swap made it the F100 it'd been widened out six inches for a dually somebody's building and I right. guess the project fell through so I had to air it back down. Right, right. And you're even using the door handles out of the Mustang. Yeah, I used the door handles, the power windows. Uh, I like that you left them shiny too. Just that one spot yeah, on it, right? Yeah, I figured it might set it off a little bit there. And what size wheels are you running? Uh, 20s in the back and uh, 18s in the front. And what kind of wheel is that? TSW? Uh, I forget, Scotty, what that is. No, I got you. Not something you just had laying around, no. No, I had to buy the tires and the, the rims. Man, it's got a great stance. It's, it sits on air? Yeah, it's on air. Man, and this is all 09 Mustang. This is exactly like my 08 Mustang. Yeah, I got plenty of leg room. Like I said, it's just like sitting in my old Mustang. That's, that's what I wanted, so. Did you have to narrow the dash or it fit in? Uh, it? I mean, yeah, it looks... about an inch on each side. Man, no, it turned out really nice. But the International, uh, cab they got such a long cow on them you know the right. mustang firewall and everything fits under pretty good so so that was the easy part yeah easier i guess yeah right right i got you it's got shaker system and everything in it yeah i like what you did with the roll bar too i like how you accented that in red yeah i figured i it's not a full roll cage but just something to make it something to protect cool your you head like well say. yeah i mean if you end up on your lid it should save you it there hopefully yeah do you got the airbags and everything in it too? Yeah. Holy smokes. So this interior doesn't know it's sitting in an international truck. No. Like Even the said, carpet. Holy yeah, smokes. Everything. Everything. And then you got the door panels, you're still just I working on it. I finish the door panels and the headliner. Man. You and got a great AC. start. AC. I don't have the AC finished yet. Man. Great start though, brother. It's looking good. And then this is the motor out of the, the 4.6 out of the 09 Mustang too. Yeah, it's uh Exactly what come in the 09 Mustang, I've, besides the Ford Racing cams I've installed in it. I like those valve covers too, right? I mean, yeah. I call valve covers, I don't know what to call them now, but it makes it look like a old Yeah, old coal motor, covers, right, whatever right, you yeah. want to call right, them. Right. I, I want to dress up that three valve a little bit. No, that looks good. You make me jealous. I wish I had those on mine. And it's got the original Mustang hood scoop on. Oh yeah, it sure does. For my air intake. Man, dude. But this winter, hopefully a set of small turbos on each side. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, let me tell you what, if you put turbos on it, we'll shoot it again once you put turbos on it. Now that is sweet. Very nice job. I like how you finished out everything. Everything's smooth and shiny. Um, you know, it's flat, and I think some people might call it a rat rod. It's not a rat rod. It's a traditional hot rod. It's a rat mod, I right. guess. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. No, that's just a really nice job. So there you go from uh, the Quaker Steak and Lube up here during the uh, rod run in Pigeon Forge, a 56 international traditional hot rod running Mustang running gear. How cool is that? Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya!